Very good. So um, now we're going to have our uh, great journey lesson. Uh, but before we get started with that, I'd like all the leadership students to come up here. Come up here, uh, uh, right along here, and just go ahead and have a seat right now. All of our leadership students. Okay. And then um, let's have everybody else turn around and face the uh, Great Journey map. Uh -huh. And um, the first thing that we're going to do um, is we're going to have one of you read for us a little bit of an outline as to what the lesson is here today. So is there somebody here who would like to do the reading? Okay, Dick Shen. All right, so let's have you stand up. So Dick Shen is now going to come over here. And then Dick Shen, you're going to read that first paragraph from here all the way down to there. And you want to read it in a big enough voice that everybody can hear you. Now, uh, parents and, and students, this is what I would normally be saying at the beginning of the, uh, of the lesson, but now we're going to have our leadership students read this. Okay, go ahead. Tiger and Blake are hiking from the cliffs of Perth to the bridge of Kersby. The Druid of Kersby is a bridge, suspended bridge, that is suspended across a huge bluff over the uh, lake of of no remorse. Okay, could you stop there for a second? Okay, so what he's saying is that uh, they're hiking from the uh, from the Cliffs of Courage over to the Bridge of Courtesy. And they're going to, the Bridge of Courtesy is a giant suspension bridge that goes across this canyon over this lake called the Lake of No Remorse. Okay, I'll go on. This journey was not an ordinary this was a spiritual quest to find himself and discover who he was meant to be. He had seen our friends suffering after being beaten up by bullies. And as a result, he had came aware of many other ways of people suffer, and he wanted to play a part in helping and the suffering. Okay, can you stop there again? Okay, so again, just to, to back up, make sure everybody understands what, what's happening here is um, um, Tiger decided to become a black belt after he had seen his best friend being badly beaten up, or one of his friends being badly beaten up by bullies. And he saw how much his friend was suffering because of this. And as a result of seeing his friend suffering, he then also started to notice that there were a lot of other people that were suffering in different ways. And so he made the decision he wanted to do something about it. And that was part of what he was, this great journey is all about. Now go on. He knew that no one would pay attention to him as he was, and he had to become someone greater. And he knew that this great journey that Mr. Master Funakoshi had encouraged him to take would do just that. It was a hero's journey and it would transform him into a leader he was meant to be. Okay, so now, um, just to review some of the things that uh, Dick Chan just read, was that this was not going to be an ordinary journey. So first of all, Tiger also knew that as a boy, not too many people were gonna pay attention to him. Now, young people, do you feel that way? Do you feel that you're a, a girl or a boy and not too many people pay attention to you? They, it's almost like you don't exist sometimes. Well, well, Tiger knew that if he was going to be able to accomplish anything in this world, that he would have to become somebody greater than who he was right now. And so he recognized that this great journey to Black Belt was something that could do that for him. Um, and that's something they can do for all of you. Okay. And that he knew that this was so, this was not just an ordinary journey. He was calling this a spiritual quest. Also, this was a hero's journey. What does that mean? What's a hero? A hero is somebody who does great things for the world. All right. So, so somebody that does great things for the world or for other people. And that's what this was for. He was, this was a hero's journey for him as well. And it's a hero's journey for all of you. 
All right, now I have some questions for you, and I have all the answers right here. What I want you to do, though, and I'm talking to the leadership students here, is I would like you, when I ask the question, I would like you to stand up and read the answer that I have right here. So who would like to volunteer? Okay, all right, so we'll let Penn, you, know, you go ahead and stand up, Penn, and Liz D, those are the answers right there. Could you stand up, please, too? Okay. And Evelyn, you stand up too. So we're going to have these three students read the answers to us. So the first question is, what is a spiritual quest? So Lindsay, could you answer that question? A spiritual quest is a journey to find your So to, it's a journey to find your true self and to become someone greater than who you are, allowing you to accomplish more as you go through life. Now that's that extra stuff I added on there. Then. Okay, and then the next question here is, why did Tiger want to help other people? Why did Tiger, have, can you answer that question, Ken? Tiger had seen his friends suffering after being beaten up and after, and after that became aware of how other people suffered. When he saw other people suffering, he could feel their pain and wanted to help them. Yes. So when you can feel somebody else's pain, what is that called? What's the name of that? What's the word for that? Um, you know what they feel like. Uh -huh. You know what they're going through, so you can feel their pain. But there's a word for that. Does anybody know that word? It's right up here. It's one of our character traits. It's compassion. To have compassion for other people, where you can feel the pain that other people might be suffering. Like, I was just feeling pain. I stepped on something. Now, that's not very big pain, right? But have you ever stepped on something? So you can probably feel my pain, right? If I, if you, if I stepped on something sharp, for example, and then I'm going, oh, oh, my foot, my foot, my foot. Can you feel that? Yeah, because you probably stepped on something sharp before. Um, or stub your toe or something like that. We almost all do that kind of thing from time to time. So if you, if you see somebody else who is suffering in some way, even some small way, then you can say, yeah, okay, I can feel what that person is feeling. And that's called compassion. And that's really an important quality here. All right, now let's go on to the next question. So Liam, if you can answer this one, why would no one pay attention to Tiger? People would not pay attention to Tiger because he was just a boy and he knew that to get other people to pay attention to him, he had to become someone greater than who he was. All right. So this is exactly what we were talking about a, a minute or two ago is when you're a kid, when you're just a boy or a girl, hardly anybody ever pays attention to you. In fact, you could probably walk across town and people would probably just ignore you. They wouldn't even pay any attention to you at all. So in order to get people to pay attention to, in order to accomplish something, you got to get people to pay attention to you, right? Yeah, they have to pay attention to you in some way or another. And so you have to become someone greater than who you are right now. You can't just stay a boy your whole life or stay a girl your whole life. You have to grow into someone greater than who you are. And that's what this journey is all about. And Tiger knew that, knew that he could do this. All right, and now next back, back to you then, Lizzie, for the next one is, would this great journey that Master Funakoshi had encouraged Tiger to take, would it transform him into, into someone greater? And the answer is? Yes, this great journey would transform him into someone greater than who he was. Greater than who he was, yes. Okay, and the last question is, can this great journey do the same thing for you? Can it transform you into someone greater? Ben? Yes, this journey can do the same for you. Can be transformed. Can transform you to someone greater than who you are, but only if you only if you put your whole self into it. Yes, yes. So it can do this for anyone, anyone who puts their whole self, mind, body, and spirit into their training. It can transform them into something, somebody greater than. Uh, almost, uh, I can say this for a fact. Every single child young person, boy or girl, that I have ever talked to always wants to grow up. They don't want to stay a kid, not forever, and they certainly don't want to go back to being a baby. They want to grow up. 
And that's what we're talking about is growing into somebody greater than you. Not just an ordinary person, though, is your best person, the best person that you can be. That makes sense to everybody? Yeah. Okay, let's give these guys a round of applause for the reading and Dixon too. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'll take all these answers. And uh, by the way, for, so starting with this week, uh, and I know you may not have seen it till, uh, till maybe today, but um, this is, we, we're, set, we're creating homework for you to do. So this week we wanted you to read page 39 to 45. Now you're probably, we're probably gonna be concentrating on pages 39 to 45. It's also right up here. And it's also right up on the wall over there. We want you to pay, it in, that's in Tiger's Great Journey. So read those a few pages. So that you're prepared, you have a better idea of what these lessons are going to be all about. Okay, good. So everybody stand up and uh, let's see. So Liam, would you lead the one up exercise, please? Okay, and Sam, come on over here and take the front of the room and mouth. Okay, and you're not ready to go. Okay, good.